It's another B day. When we walked up, he was like, Mom, is that the real Santa or the fake Santa? Rise mushroom coffee. And I'm gonna mix it. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kendra Michelle if you're new and welcome back to another vlog. Before I get started, I wanna say thank you so much to all my new subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. I gained the most subscribers in the month of November than I have in a very, very long time. So I great, greatly appreciate you guys. If it's your first time watching, go ahead and join the train. Go ahead and subscribe right now so that you can be a part of my journey. I am on the road to 1,000 subscribers and I would love, love, love to achieve that goal before the end of the year. It's a pretty ambitious goal, I'm not gonna lie, but I believe we can do it. So if you're watching right now, that's my son in the background. <laughs> But if you're watching right now and you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I promise you will love it here. And happy Vlogmas, you guys. I have probably posted a couple videos during Vlogmas by now already, but those were pre-recorded. So I just wanna officially say happy Vlogmas. I will be posting times a week during Vlogmas. It's a little bit different for me, but we're gonna push forward um, so we can reach our goals, you guys. And I'm doing so much, always during the holidays, I always do so much, have so many things planned. So I'm really excited to be able to display all those things for you guys. I am talking really fast because I'm about to be late for the movies. You guys, today is December 1st and it's another B-Day. So we are headed to the movies to see the Beyonce Renaissance like documentary. We don't really know what's gonna be given the vibes for this movie, but I'm believing it's gonna be like documentary style. Um, I am going to another luxury theater out here, so we will see if it's giving real luxury this time. I read the reviews and I wasn't too impressed by the reviews, so I'm about to go to Target and bring my own drinks. And if I have time, I'm gonna stop for food because the reviews were saying that the food was cold. My friend said she'd been there before and she really likes it. So we're gonna see what the vibes are giving. But you know me, if you know me, you know I'm gonna be prepared regardless. So we're gonna stop by Tiger real quick and then we're gonna head to the movies. So let's go. Hey guys, so I made it to the theater. I was not able to stop for food. I did not have time. But at Target, I just got like some little Twizzler candy. So, this is a dining theater, like I said, but it just had, um, it didn't have the best reviews as far as, like, the food and the service and, like, the food coming out, like, warm or whatever. So, I just wanted to be prepared, um, just in case. This movie is supposed to be giving concert vibes, I feel like. I don't know. Um, so... I got a beverage as well. These are my favorite little lightweight to-go drinks right now. Um, it's a little Moscow Mule in the can. So I'm gonna put that in my purse. I don't know how you mess a drink up, but listen, the way those reviews were looking, I was like, I'm just gonna be prepared. So I put one of those in my bag, got my candy, and I'm ready to go. So let's go. Add a little bit of extra meat. Hey guys, today is Monday. Um, the last time you guys saw me was probably. Oh, when I went to go see the Beyonce movie on Friday night. Love the movie, I enjoyed it. It's basically giving like, you guys have probably all saw the movie by now, um, but it was pretty much the show with documentary style um, included in that, which I enjoyed because I went to go see the show, but like when you're there, like as soon as I left, I said, I need to go see it again, but that just was not possible um, for me. And 
I was so happy that they did the movie because it's like you get to watch the show all over again. Um, and then with her inside in between. So it was really good to see the behind the scenes of like different things that happened that we saw on social media with like when all the sound went out. Um, and just what she was going through because when I watched that show, I'm like, I can't believe this lady is up here for, I don't know how long it was, three or four hours, no breaks voice sounding amazing and she was doing this back to back night after night city after city and i was just like how is she doing this oh it's always cool to see the behind the scenes and like the things that they do and how they you know get there as a performer um and beyonce is the greatest so it's like it's just amazing to see like and then the family dynamic with everybody being there and like blue story it was a beautiful um beautiful movie very inspiring very very inspiring um and we went to go see it at the luxury dining theater so that theater was better <clears throat> than the one i went to before i did not try the food because i was scared but i did get a drink they had like beyonce cocktails um i think the one we got was called everybody on mute and it was so stereotypical though it was like hennessy and watermelon which was interesting but it was actually pretty good um we had a good time in the theater everyone was in participation um everybody was singing dancing having a good time everybody was not on mute though it was so funny i recorded because my friend <laughs> it was actually my friend too she was like it was like everybody on mute and then everybody was quiet and then she was like Mm -hmm, yeah or something like that and i'm like girl <laughs> i just could not stop laughing because like after all this time you still can't be on me but anyways um she didn't go to the show or anything like that she's not really big on social media either so i think she kind of like just forgot i don't know anyway had a great time friday night with the girls um sunday i mean saturday i went to a sweet 16 but i did not vlog um uh, because they don't really do social media like that so i did not vlog there um and then sunday we went to church and then i didn't bring my camera because our plan was to go to church and come home but after church we ended up going to lunch my husband was like you want to go out to lunch i'm like sure so we went to cpk because they have things that the kids can have kenden loves pizza um, so we went to CPK and then after lunch, we were just walking around the like shopping center and they had a full on like Santa's workshop out there with arts and crafts for the kids, face painting, um, a balloon artist. They had like people on stilts. They had Santa, uh, popcorn, just everything. They were giving out free toys. So we just kind of stumbled across this. So we ended up spending the rest of the day there. Um, we got some handles ice cream. So I did get some clips of that on my phone. So I will show you guys our Sunday afternoon here. Yeah, we really came over here for the handles ice cream and then we stumbled across, up across this little event. So we're gonna go ahead and get some pictures with Santa. And then I guess we'll go get ice cream and then go home. <laughs> but yeah, it's really nice. Everything is free. Um, they have arts and crafts, giveaways, and different things like that. So it's really cute. And as, as Christmas bells. Just reindeer. And you gotta leave them carrots because they get hungry out after flying Santa's sled. Okay. What else do I need to know about Santa? Also, he. Why did you ask me? Is that the real Santa? There's no. There's no such thing. There's no 
such thing as a fake Santa. But we do see a fake Santa. And then Santa, uh, Santa puts a little... Santa brings, brings presents to people that, that, that are good all year and do nothing bad. So is that the real Santa over there? Uh, no. We walked up, he was like, Mom, is that the real Santa or the fake Santa? <laughs> That's the stand-in Santa. <laughs> At least he knows. He knows, like, like he don't look like the real one. He, don't, he got on a different outfit, too. He got on, like, a velvet vest, gold buttons. So we thought we were in the line for Santa Claus, and we've been standing here for, like, 20 minutes, but actually we were in line for... Balloon animals, Santa doesn't even have a line. So we took our picture with Santa and now we're waiting on balloon animals. She's dancing this way. It looks like that she's dancing right for us. Yeah. Kenny's getting a candy cane and Bryson's getting a snowman. Like he doesn't even play with me. Oh, that looks so cozy. Yeah. You take a picture with her? But I don't think there's tables over there. Everyone was asking where I got my glasses from today. Where'd you get them from? Amazon? There, Bottega has some like this stuff. Bottega do. So we had a great time. Kendall was like, this is the best day ever. <laughs> so we had a really good time um, out there. And they said they're, they're going to be doing it every weekend um, in different parts of the plaza. So if you guys live in Southern California, it was in Orange County at the Tustin Marketplace, I believe it's called. Um, so yeah if you catch it they'll be out there every weekend in the month of december they have santa they're gonna have a train next next weekend um and everything is completely free so if you live in the um orange county area go check it out that's a good little tidbit too for the holiday season um if you're not sure like what to do with your family like look in your community list or whatever on um instagram or just on the internet and i'm pretty sure you can find some free activities to do with your family that one was actually really nice um uh, because they were giving away a lot of stuff and yeah beautiful afternoon but today is monday and we are back at the gym for zumba and i'm actually on time today like i'm usually like a couple minutes late so i'm about to stop chatting so that I can actually be on time so I'm about to go. I am drinking my Celsius. This is the last one that I have at home. I hate this flavor, by the way. Disgusting. But this is the last flavor that I have at home. I'm going to, I don't think I'm gonna get another box. I've been trying out this mushroom coffee. Not really sure how it's working yet, but I'm gonna start drinking it like consistently tomorrow since this is my last Celsius. See if it gives me the same amount of energy for the gym. Because I'm going to be increasing my classes starting this week. So, we'll see how it goes. I'll let you guys know. I'll keep you guys updated. I've tasted it. I really don't care for the taste. It doesn't taste like coffee. But I'll give you guys more information on that a little bit later when we try it tomorrow. So, let's go to class. Hey, guys. So, it is much later. I went to Sprouts and Walmart. Today is one of those days where I have to go to, like, three stores. Um... I didn't have enough time to make it to Trader Joe's. So I just pulled up here. I went and picked up Bryson. Now we're at Trader Joe's. And I'm going to make it quick because I have these other groceries in the car. But I'm going to take y'all with me. I need to get some new flowers. Um, the white flowers have been like not good. I guess they're out of season or whatever. So I'm going to see what flowers I can find. And then I have a list. Today I have a list. So we're gonna get what we need and we're gonna get up out of there. So let's go.
That's why I'm not with nobody. Cause I don't wanna hurt nobody. Did it over taste, didn't call me. Still got love for your mommy. I know you wanna be somebody. Even if you gotta leave somebody. Yes, I'm hurt. Yes, I'm dead. You guys have been keeping up with the vlogs. I told you guys my four-year-old is nonverbal, right? So this is how he tells me what he wants. He pushes me and he pulls me. He throws my hand to whatever item he's looking for. And he loves these little crackers, these gluten-free um, graham crackers. But he eats so many of them. We try to restrict the, restrict him. We try to restrict him from how many he can have a day. He already had like two packs, and now he wants more. Look at him. All gone. All gone. Sometimes I try to trick them. I always keep an empty box in the bin. The bin is clearly full, but I try to keep an empty box around so that I can fake like they're all gone because then, see, now he left. <laughs> because or else he will eat these all day long. He only likes, he has a food aversion, so he'll only eat certain things and so, um, these are one of the things that he will eat all day, every day. So, I'll try to restrict him to maybe like three packs a day. Because it's only like six crackers in here. Or maybe like eight crackers in here. So, I try to restrict him to like three packs a day. But, child, he be fiending for him. So, I have to fake it out. But, like I said, I learned that's my new trick. So, the next time I don't want him to have any more, I'll just show him the empty box. Just how the cookie crumbles. Okay, now I need to hurry up and go shower because it's almost time to go get Kendon already. So that's how my days go. It's like you have a couple of hours to get some stuff done and then it's like you're playing pickup carpool lady. Yeah, so I'm about to go shower and then I'm gonna go to the pickup line. I'm gonna take my So today is Tuesday. I'm running a little bit late to the gym because I did not sleep well last night. So I'm really tired. Um, I got the kids ready for school and then I got back in the bed, which is a big mistake. But anyway, I told you guys yesterday that that was my last Celsius and that I was going to be trying something different for my energy. So I'm going to be trying the Rise Mushroom Coffee. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this on social media but it's um good for stamina focus stress relief immune support um healthy digestion and anti-inflammatory so but it's still supposed to give you energy like coffee so we're gonna be trying that out this morning instead of the celsius um i'm gonna be making like an iced coffee because i tried it hot and i didn't like it I'm gonna get one tablespoon a leveler because i don't want to do too much now okay so oh shoot I'm spilling it so we got one tablespoon i'm gonna add it in there i'm gonna add eight to ten ounces of water i just fill my cup up halfway because it's 16 ounces and i'm gonna mix it 
make sure it's mixed real good because I'm gonna be trying out this non-dairy uh, brown sugar creamer, oat sugar, oat, child, I'm trying to hurry up. <laughs> brown sugar oat creamer from Trader Joe's. So I'm gonna put a tablespoon of that. I'm trying to get better at measuring like the things that I eat and drink so I can keep track of ice. <laughs> There's nothing aesthetic about this right now, you guys. I'm just trying to hurry up. Okay. So, I'm not adding no sugar. I just added a tablespoon. Is that the serving size? A tablespoon? Yeah, one tablespoon of creamer. 25 calories. It's not nasty. I'm not mad at it. It's not super sweet. If you want to add, like, I might add, like, one pump of vanilla syrup. Add one pump of this vanilla syrup. And I'm not mad at it, y'all. I think I could do this. All right, let's go so we're not too, too late for class. Hey guys, so I finished the workout today and um, I don't know if it's because I'm tired in general or if it's the fact that I didn't have a Celsius, but my energy was not as high as it usually is. Um, <clears throat> but it's my first day trying it. Um, so we'll see how I feel. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna take it like every day this week. I'm gonna say I, it's not medicine. <laughs> I'm gonna drink it every day this week and see how I feel. Like I said today, I didn't get much sleep last night at all, so I'm just tired in general. Um, I still was able to like get through the class fine, but usually I'm like heck of hyper in there. So, <laughs> um off of the celsius so we'll see how i'm able to um do i was supposed to do two classes today but like i said i didn't get no sleep last night so i didn't make it to the first class but thursday i plan on doing the 8 45 class and the 9 30 class so we'll see if it helps me to get pumped through both of those uh sessions then i'll really be able to tell and also i'll be able to tell throughout the rest of the day if i'm like you know, the same amount of tired or extra tired. Why do it look like I got a black eyes? I guess that's a bag. That's like a real bag under my eye. Wow. Anyways. Yeah, so. <laughs> Where my sunglasses at? Because now I look like I got a black eye. And I don't. Mm, I'm so tired. <laughs> So yeah, anyway, that was um, my review so far on the Rise coffee, mushroom coffee. We'll see, like I said, I'm gonna take it the rest of the week and then we'll see because I don't really wanna drink Celsius every day. I mean, I'm, I go to the gym three times a week and I drink a Celsius every time I come. And then I have coffee on the days where I don't. So I feel like I was consuming too much caffeine. So I wanna, you know, kinda switch it up. So we'll see how it goes. Right now, I'm about to head back to Sprouts because I went to Sprouts the other day, or yesterday I went. Yeah, I went yesterday and they didn't have my son's chips. So, I'm gonna go back today. He likes the late July nacho cheese chips. You guys probably see me. Um, oh yeah, in the last vlog, I bought two bags and they go. <clears throat> Granted, I recorded that like a few weeks ago. But anyways, I'm rambling y'all. I'm tired, I'm so tired. I don't think I'm gonna have time to take a nap at all. So, um, we just gonna push through. Hopefully this little mushroom coffee give me what I need. Anyways, if you guys have watched the vlog this far, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. I am trying to grow here on YouTube, as you guys know. I'm trying to reach 1,000 subscribers, so make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe. You're gonna love it here, I promise you that. I'm always doing something. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So yes, make sure you guys subscribe. Also, make sure you look in the description box because I'm going to be adding like some videos um, in there that I think you guys might enjoy. Also, they'll be up in the cards. Make sure you guys go back and click on that. Support your girl. Okay. Appreciate y'all. Bye.